Hey, good Wednesday morning to everybody. It's WCNC Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Well, we had some storms this morning, which were kind of an early wake-up call, but we've got more on the way this afternoon as another cold front approaches from the north and west. Let me show you what's going on. Those storms this morning actually formed on the old front, which it was down to the south. It kind of got pulled back to the north a little bit as the warm, kind of muggy air got pushed back north ahead of the main front, which is up in here. This is the front that's going to bring us the afternoon storms, but it was partially responsible for bringing up some of those storms this morning, which actually were kind of interesting. They were pretty loud. They weren't really really all that strong, but those storms now you can see have moved past Charlotte are now up towards the Winston-Salem area, and boy, they had a lot of cloud-to-ground lightning with them. That's the big story with those. They were loud. <laughs> that thunder and lightning uh, certainly uh, was pretty intense this morning, and that was because we had some elevated what we call instability that kept those storms going. But this afternoon, the story is going to be this second front, which is right here. This will arrive this afternoon and bring us the chance for some afternoon storms. In fact, let me quickly show you the day the day one, what we call convective outlook. You could see that low risk for most of the Carolinas. That does include the Charlotte area. This was expanded a little bit from yesterday as the front approaches. There's a lower medium risk up here where I do think there'll be more of a severe weather threat. Now, the main concern is going to be straight line winds as that system approaches, and that could happen late this afternoon. So let's time this all out. All right, so we'll time this out on Futurecast. You can see the storms this morning, but I want you to watch that front approaching and what happens ahead of it this afternoon. So we'll go to about 3.30, 4 o'clock. Um, you start to see storms developing. There's the front. Clearly see it up there. But watch what happens through the evening hours. This is about 7 o'clock. Things get active. They'll be scattered, but some of these storms could be strong, especially through 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. You see them moving through. So again, not widespread storms, but the, the ones that can get going, especially uh, we'll have to watch this cluster in, over in this area as well potentially some strong storms. Hail would be a concern. This is kind of a heightened hail threat. We don't normally see that as much in the in the late summer, early fall, but I do think hail would be an issue as well as straight line winds. Tornado threat is what we call non-zero. It's not zero, but it's pretty low. As we go through time, you can see that front will push through probably not until early tomorrow. So this is tomorrow morning. Notice the time around 6 a.m. The front's like right in there. So it takes through tomorrow morning for the front to clear and into the afternoon hour. So there will be a lingering shower or storm chance tomorrow afternoon. But once that front pushes through tomorrow evening completely, we get into this northwest flow and the air mass behind it is really, really nice. In fact, let me turn off uh, the model data real quickly and we'll turn on the surface data just to show you the temperatures right now because I want to show you where the temperatures are generally much cooler up here across the Midwest. You could see some pretty nice conditions up there. Um, I'm going to turn on the temperatures just to show you the, the contours. So you see this cool air up here in the northern plains up into the uh, areas of the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. That cooler air will be arriving later this week. So the high temperatures will likely be in the low 50s by the end of the week. But the big story, again, is going to be that dry air. The air mass up there is pretty dry. In fact, let me show you the, the, the air mass up there. That's really dry air. So we're going to get another nice taste of dry air across the region. In fact, below average temperatures move in. These are the high temperatures compared to average across the U.S. We go to tomorrow. Notice the whole eastern half of the country is in blue, where we've got several degrees below average. And then we go towards Friday, same story, Saturday, closer to average and then by Sunday things start to warm back up so there will be a little bit of a cool down for the end of the week before things heat back up next week but the story is going to be those storms that we're keeping track of today as that cold front approaches of course I'll post updates throughout the afternoon and we'll let you know what to expect as that system gets closer to us but we are going to see the chance for some storms developing later this afternoon into the evening hours as this cold front towards the north and west gets here have a great day, everybody.